Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. And the Madden 19 show must go on, at least until Madden 20 drops. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find you guys stuff in 19 that's going to work in 20. Some stuff that I already tested out that I know for sure is going to work. I'm trying to provide for you guys, as well as a defensive scheme. So stay tuned to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. Now, before we get into this video, man, I got to give a quick shout out to the newest members of the Wolfpack, JL. Blurry Face, Marcus Sanders, Richard Rogers, Trevor Kerr, TV The God, Benny Boggs, Mixmaster88, Zaragoza44. Those guys have, are now members of the Wolfpack. If you want to become a member, the link's in the description, man. Uh, I have custom emotes, badges, tournaments that we're going to be doing in the Madden 20 season, as well as a Madden 20 giveaway. Also, there's already exclusive content on my channel that you'll be able to see. I can't tell you what the content is, but it ain't Madden 19. So if you want to see that competitive stuff, make sure you become a member today. Now let's talk about two plays, man, that are just awesome inside the Patriots playbook that nobody runs. These plays, nobody runs, all right? Trust me when I tell you this. The formation is going to be the double Y flex, if I can remember correctly, the double Doubles Y flex. Now, before we get into this play as well, man, make sure you drop a like on the video. That is how my channel survives. Let's try to get this one right here to at least 204 likes, man. Help me out. I need the help. Okay. Name of the first play is the PA deep outs. Now, pay attention. Okay. I'm going to put some adjustments in cover three out there. You can do it against stock or adjusted cover three. Doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. So, what we need to do is... We need to glitch the defense. Now, you guys know in the Money Play Master, I figured these things out. I've already figured them out in Madden 20. So stay tuned, okay? Because right off the right off the gate, as soon as I'm able to post the gameplay publicly, I'm coming out swinging with some glitch plays, okay? I already got some already. So, so stay tuned, pay attention. PA deep outs right here. If we run the play stock the way it is, not gonna work. What we need to do we need to take Gronkowski and put him on a hitch route. So we're gonna select him, put him on a hitch route. Next thing we're gonna do is we need to create ourselves a bailout route. So we're gonna take X Hogan and put him on a drag. So this is what our play looks like. Now, if you do this correctly and you put your fastest wide receiver where Edelman is, I don't know if, I think Dorsett's the fastest wide receiver. I should probably have just made that change. But you wanna put your fastest receiver where Edelman is. And if you wanna cancel play action, do it. I do it. But I'm going to leave it on so you guys can see block shedding that happens in play action. Might as well just show you guys, you know, it may or may not work. Depends. It just depends on the play because sometimes they get a block shed boost. Sometimes they don't. Snap the ball and we're looking for the wide route. Really easy. Once he passes the middle blue, you chunk the ball and it's just like that. And you get a touchdown probably with a fast wide receiver. Someone that would get there a lot faster too as well. Like I want to say Dorsett's the fastest. I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong or not. I don't know. So remember, A on a hitch, okay? X on a drag. And we're gonna try to execute this in play action so you can do that. And here he comes off the edge. And then we're just gonna lead past this to the right. Boom, rat catch that, try to take it to the end zone. I'm surprised I can't get into the end zone with this guy. I know Tyreek Hill, Bradley Cooks would get into the end zone. Come on, Edelman, you're letting me down. You're letting me down, Edelman. So here we go again, hitch route. Drag X, you know what, I, I know what it is. I didn't pick random cover three. I think I just picked the first cover three sky that I saw. Here we go, we got some nice separation here. Oh, he still stops us there. Okay, you know what, let me go ahead and pick a random cover three for this for this offensive play because I don't think I did. I think I just, okay, random cover three there. Okay, let's just come back to the same play because I don't want to do you guys dirty. I don't want to sell you a dream, you know what I'm saying? All right, and I know, of course, it's always going to be that. Let's just run inside zone and fall. Okay, that juke moves in Madden 20, just so you guys know that what you just saw there is in Madden 20. Okay, here we go. A on a hitch, drag X. Boom, that's it. What's happening is, and I'm going to show you guys what the hitch is doing. Wait till he gets to the right, lead passes to the right, and rat catch that. Okay, so this is what's happening. If I come to the instant replay, let me show you guys what's actually happening here. These out routes that are on the plate, and, and the Saints have a play like this as well is these out routes are holding this blue down. Now this blue wouldn't be held down unless I put the tight end on a hitch route. If I don't put the tight end on a hitch route, this guy drops back, okay? But since I do put the hitch route, the out route holds him while this guy comes through. Now let me show you guys what, I'm, what I mean. 
let's say I put the adjustments out there, right? Cover three. And then I streak the tight end. Now, pay attention to that corner and that out route. Chances are he won't bite it. And here comes that boost. See, now he's in the way over there, back there. You see that? We don't want that. So that's what the hitch route actually does. The hitch route makes that corner. We're glitching the defense. We're actually putting the defense on a glitch. He's taking that away. So not actually taking away, but forcing him. Oh man, we got good separation right there. And that's a TD. So you guys see the difference, what the hitch route does as opposed to what it doesn't do. The money play master, you guys already know when Madden 20 drops, I'm going to make them regret for not making me a game changer. You know what I'm saying? I'm just joking. I don't want to be a game changer because I don't know. I'll be there all day just breaking the game. I, I don't want to do that. Okay. Besides, I don't want to be told what to do on how to post stuff and what to say in my videos. Nah, we ain't doing all that. Okay. So doubles. Y flex is the next play that we're going to talk about the fourth, the set. And it's the shark halfback wheel concept cover three. All these beat cover three, dude. I'm telling you guys right now, all these, what I'm showing you right now is going to just destroy cover three. No adjustments needed. Just motion Gronkowski over. Once he gets to the side over here to the left tackle, snap the ball. Now watch your wheel route. I actually should have snapped the ball a little bit earlier, but pay attention to the wheel route. All by himself over here. And that's going to be a TD. You guys know how I roll already, man. You guys know how I roll. Let's do this again. Put some adjustments out there. And if they play sticks, the wheel route still gets open. Just put B on a, on a street. I'll show you guys how to do that. Motion Gronkowski over. Snap the ball. I'm trying to snap the ball earlier. It's a little bit delayed. But this is the effect you want right here. Boom. TDs all day. Okay. T and this is the Patriots playbook for those. Because people had asked me when I showed the plays from the Saints that glitched the cover three defense. Uh, people are like, hey, man, you got something for, for uh, Patriots. So make sure you put in the comments below what playbook you want me to check out next uh, if you're still playing Madden 19. Because what I was going to do in the previous video, if my video didn't at least hit 2,000 views, I was not going to do Madden 19 money plays. But I'm still getting almost the same kind of views for Madden 19 tutorials, you know, this part of the year. Then like February, it's the same thing. So I'm going to slide protect right, and then I'm going to bring him over here. And there, I snapped the ball a little bit earlier. But I'm trying to turn him into a blocker, and he's not turning into a blocker, bro. But it doesn't matter, okay? Boom, we just want to hit this guy over here. And it's money all day. Now, if they play sticks, let me show you guys, because people are going to say, oh, we'll just play sticks or inside thirds. None of that matters. So what sticks does is it forces that blue. Let's try to run that play again. Now that we have sticks out there, you'll see what happens with that blue. Now he's not going to bite nothing, and now Gronkowski is a blocker. But you'll see that... You still have a little window to throw it. But what we want to do is we want to make that window bigger. So if you can recognize sticks where your cover three beaters, they're not pulling zones down. That's because they're playing sticks, right? What you can do is now force the blue to back up. So we're going to streak B. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we're still going to bring this guy over here. Snap the ball. Okay. And we're looking for RB. Boom. Like this. Now we have more space. I can actually rat catch that now and take off up the field. So you guys see the difference on sticks as opposed to not being sticks. And how do you tell when they're running sticks? You run a cover three BD. If that zone doesn't get pulled down, then they're in sticks. Then you start running wheel routes with streaks. Streak with a wheel route behind it. I don't care what formation it is. You run the streak with the wheel route. You're going to be all right against sticks. If they put inside thirds, it doesn't matter. Everything underneath that is going to be wide open. So you force the inside third to bite certain streak routes and then run a wheel route behind it while trying to max protect behind it as well. It's, it's, it's a little bit hard to understand, but it's there. So there it is, man. I hope you guys appreciate it. If you guys want me to show you the defensive scheme in Madden 19 that still works in Madden 20 and how I was able to go 12 and 0 in Madden 20 in the beta, put it in the comments below as well. I will show you guys that defensive scheme right off the bat. Uh, show you what to do. It's actually a little bit better. The defensive scheme in Madden 20 it's going to be better than Madden 19s. My defensive scheme that I use right now is, is better in Madden 20. I promise. Trust me. I, I, I only allow like five points a game, bro. Like that was the average. It was actually 4.8. So there it is, man. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Become a member of the Wolfpack today. Take advantage of the loyalty badges as well because your timer starts now, bro. You know what I mean? Like if you become a member now. Within a certain time frame, you get a different badge and people see that. They see how long you've been a member, man. It just shows a little bit more support. Just putting it out there, bro. And if you want to enter into the Madden 20 giveaway, 
Love you guys, man. Peace.